guys, I get so many questions about my plant-based diet and it's something that I feel like a lot of people have um, a big lack of education, especially when it comes to the nutrition, if you can feed your family on a whole place, on a home on a whole plant-based diet and it seems to scare a lot of people and overwhelm a lot of people and I felt like it deserved its own video and I wanted to share with you guys my favorite books, my favorite recipes and my favorite authors, what I liked and didn't like about each and every one of them. And so um, for the people that have no idea where to start and that are I'm just curious about the goods, the bads, what to do, what not to do, and the, the actual facts that you need um, concerning a plant-based diet. I highly recommend becoming vegan. I, by mistake, got the Express Edition, and I kind of regretted it, so I would definitely recommend maybe getting the, the big version that has all the information, and that will really touch everything and anything you need to know about becoming vegan. It was a very good book. It's got a whole section on uh, pre-pregnancy, when you actually want to get pregnant, uh, what to do when you are pregnant, what to do when you um, have had your baby and want more milk supply, what to do when your baby starts eating, and what to do when they become teenagers, and then when they become older. And there's actually a whole section too on elderly people, how to solidify their bones and all that stuff. It's very good when it comes to specific information regarding being plant-based. My favorite go-to books when it comes to um, fitness and a plant-based diet and really hardcore information, it's Brendan Brazier. He is honestly amazing in the way that everything that goes into his mouth has to be nutrient dense. He will not eat it if it's not like nutrient dense. So my favorite book from him is called Whole Foods to Thrive. It's got over 200 recipes in there. Um, and they're all from like homemade uh, bean pizza crust to everything, everything and anything. Everything on there is like nutrient dense, super filling, super good. You can never eat more than like one portion because it's just way too much. But what I love about him is he's so thorough, thorough with everything and in the specifically in this book he has so much information about why being plant-based is so important for your health and that was really my favorite go-to book when it came to information and i absolutely love the recipes in here now he created a lot of different books one of my favorite fitness book and it's completely ruined by now but it's okay um it's called thrive fitness and in here he has like whole um, meal plans and all sorts of stuff, especially for people that do endurance, endurance uh, athletes, endurance training and all that type of, of route. Um, he's got full meal plans. He also has um, a lot of stuff online. You can actually go to Thrive Forward, I believe it's called, and you can register with a free account and he'll send you daily videos on just how to become like a healthier athlete. and different nutritional plans that you can follow that will give you different types of energies depending on what kind of workouts you like to do. So he's amazing. I love to follow him. He's Canadian. Um, lots of good info. This girl, I freaking love. Um, she has the most amazing Instagram account if you guys want to check it out. Her name is Peggy. I can never say her last name. And she works a lot with Brendan Brazier. That is actually how I found her. Um, Brendan Brazier spoke a lot about her and so I looked her up and she has this amazing book called Kitchen Cures and in this book she shares with us exactly what to eat to heal whatever illness you have whether it's depression anxiety low libido whatever it is she has a full section in there that tells you exactly what to eat to get better or to heal that illness or whatever it is and she also has a lot of really healthy recipes at the end now she is with vega so there's a lot of uh, vega products and all sorts of stuff in here in the recipes but overall there's a lot of information whether it's thyroid depression anxiety low libido like i was saying there's full sections on everything in there so this was a very good healing book i really appreciate it it was an easy read and she also goes a lot in that into all that in type of information now to get into the good stuff, for me, it's really important that the recipes taste good because I have two kids and they have to be tasty or else obviously they will not eat it. 
My favorite, favorite authors, um, she's a, another Canadian one. Her name is Angela. Uh, you may know the Oh She Glows. So she has this, it started with this book and she literally started with her blog and her blog got so popular. People just loved it so much that she decided to create a book and every recipe tastes freaking amazing. It's, it's so good. It's, if it's, if you've never had a plant-based meal before, I highly recommend starting with this because she just, they're simple, they're quick, they're nutritious, and they are good. So I highly recommend this book. She also has a brand new app that she uh, just published. I think it's $6.99 and she has a ton of recipes on that app. You can click save. Um, you can, there's, uh, I think there's even shopping lists you can do on that app. What, it's, it's amazing. You should test it out. It's only $6.99 and she updates it daily. She has Snapchat. She does a lot of recipes on her Snapchat. She's amazing she's also has is pregnant with her second baby so she has a lot of recipes for nursing mommies and for kids stuff as well so i highly recommend her she's publishing her second book very shortly if you can pre-order it i've already pre-ordered mine of course but this if you are new and just wanting to try out veganism or trying out a plant-based diet i highly recommend her she is amazing my second go-to that i absolutely love and her name is Drina Burton, and um, she has three daughters, and so all her recipes have to be kid approved. All the names of her recipes are, are like kid fun. Um, her website is plant um, plantpoweredkitchen.com, and same thing with Oh She Glows, it's oh she glows com. I forgot to mention that. But uh, plantpoweredkitchen.com, both of these websites, you all you have to do is go into the search engine and click whatever ingredients you have and all the recipes will pop up they are freaking amazing i love all her burgers she's got a ton of them uh, my favorite is the nutty burger from her it's so good but what i love about her and this one has another like 200 plant-based recipes they're freaking awesome but they're all kid approved and a lot of them is um just different breakfasts you can do, different snacks, power bars, protein bars, you name it. They're simple, they're tasty. A lot of different like mac and cheese recipes, um, a lot of just kid approved. So if you have kids and are looking for fun stuff, she has a lot of different meal plans you can do for lunches. She's got a whole series on it and she has a lot of different books. So this is the one I got started with. When I found out that she did one for babies, I went and got it. It's called Vive Le Vegan. That one I found just didn't have as much, but I still love it. Still a lot of recipes that I make, but my go-to has definitely been this one, which is Let Them Eat Vegan. And then she recently published another book that is also amazing. It's called Plant Powered Families. So this is her most recent one. Um, I really adore this girl. She's, I mean, she's amazing and you can tell that she really does everything for her kids and um, everything is beautifully, it's all lots of different colors, color coded, lunch fixes, a lot of stuff for your, the, your kids lunch, uh, cinnamon French toast, like cashew omelets, chickpea omelets, you name it, it's all in there. A lot of different muffin recipes, um, a lot of different snacks. She also always, always offers nut-free um, nut examples because most of them are for lunches and stuff like that. So obviously a lot of kids are allergic to nuts. So she does, she always offers alternatives. She's amazing. So if you have kids, look her up. Now, if you are skeptical about veganism and you are, you know, one of those persons that really feel like veganism is... It, you you don't you can't feed your kids that way and you can't be uh, satisfied on that or whatever. These two books would be amazing for you. So um, my two go tos is vegan cooking for carnivores. So this guy Roberto Martin he's um, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia's personal chef, and so he basically wrote this book for the carnivores. So there's a lot of more processed stuff, a lot more of the. Um, kind of go-tos for really meat eaters. So this one I don't use as often just because I tend to stay away from processed stuff, but there's still a lot of good things in here like quesadillas, um, a lot of different types of soups, but a lot, a lot of Mexican food just because that is his type of thing. So if you are skeptical, this one could be for you. 
And then uh, last but not least, she's um, amazing for pastas. She's amazing for, she actually won the Cupcake Wars and she was the first vegan to ever do so. So she basically like rocked it. She killed it and everybody was making fun of her saying, oh, you're, you know, you can't do cupcakes without dairy and eggs and she nailed them. So her book is called Chloe's Kitchen. I have another one which I forgot to take out. So she has two now. And she is Italian, so a lot of different um, Italian meals, a lot of appetizers, and they're all beautiful, a lot, a lot. She's got a whole book on just how to bake cakes and, and cupcakes. That is her specialty. She's a lot higher in sugar, uh, but everything tastes amazing. When I wanna do a cake, when I wanna do sweets, she's the person I go to. A lot of different pasta dishes. Her other one is more Italian. I completely forget it by now, so I will have to add it to the post later. But definitely, if you love pastas and stuff like that, she is the go-to. Now, for people that like slow cookers, I have bought two different slow cookers for specifically plant-based, and both of them were not to my liking, so I'd rather not, you know, come out on here and be negative about them, so I'm just not gonna talk about them or post about them, but there are a lot of different ones out there that you can try. Um, I think it's just a matter of trying different authors, different books, seeing what you like, not like. Those are my top ones. Those are the ones that I, that I do on a regular basis. When it comes to meal plans, my absolute favorite one is from the Simple Green Smoothie Girls. Now, they're, they're a bunch of girls. They, it's all online. You can take their 30-day free green smoothie challenges. These girls are amazing. Same thing as the Oh She Glows. They started with a blog, just a green smoothie blog, and they started having so many followers, and it was so good. So now they do all these free challenges, and regularly constantly and they they got so popular they started working with nutritionists and all sorts of stuff and they came out with this plan called fresh start 21 you'll probably see me posting a lot about them and that's because it's my favorite meal plan in the whole world they have a 21 day detox that's called fresh start 21 and everything in there tastes absolutely amazing it is you do have to pay for it. It's like 50 or $70, I forget what it is, but it's a meal plan. It's been structured with a nutritionist. It's highly nutritious. It is delicious. And that is usually the one I like to follow. And then I combine it with at least one of the recipes in, in, in one of these books every day for dinner for my little kiddos. So all in all, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that it has been helpful a little bit. Feel free to ask any questions and I'd be more than happy to share.